Hi everyone, welcome back to online classroom Jeku Tio. In this video, we are going to start chapter 8, Force and Motion. The first topic in chapter 8 is Force. Before we go any further, let's find out what is Force. Force is actually a pull or a push upon an object. For example, you pulling open a can of food or pushing a button, those are all forces. You use force. What are some of the examples of the types of forces? I'm sure every one of you are very familiar with gravitational force. It is a force that points towards the center of the Earth. That is why whatever object that you throw upwards, it will always fall back down. It is because of gravitational force. And this is a pull, a pull from the earth. Next is weight. Weight is actually gravitational force that is acting on an object. In order to measure weight, we use spring balance as it is shown here in the picture what about when you find out how heavy you are are you weighing yourself is that your body weight no that actually is not your weight that is your mass okay that is body mass all right the weight is the gravitational force it is not how heavy you are how about normal force? Normal force is produced when one object is in contact with a surface and normally it is in reaction to another force. For example, the apple here, it has weight and in response to that weight, as this apple is in contact with this table, there is an opposite direction force called the normal force. If it is a little bit hard for you to understand normal force right now, don't worry. Jekutio will explain more when we talk about Newton's third law later. And the pictures here suggest the elastic force. What is elastic force? It exists when a material is stretched or compressed. Normally, you can find elastic force in spring or slingshot or an arrow and a bow okay so that is elastic force how about buoyant force buoyant force is a force that thrust upward to an object that is floating okay normally on the surface of a fluid or a or water any liquid all right anything that float on liquid there is a buoyant force how about frictional force Frictional force is the force that always resists movement between two surfaces. For example, this man here is trying to move this box towards the left. And this box is in contact with the surface area of the floor. So there is a two surface that is moving against each other. And frictional force will always oppose the direction of motion. So the frictional force is towards the right when the man try to push the box towards the left. What are some characteristics of force? Remember, there are three characteristics of force. First, it always have a magnitude. What is the magnitude? Magnitude is the number. Okay, the magnitude is the number, meaning it is a measurement of how big or how small a force is. So in this example here, the magnitude is 10 Newton. Force also always have a direction. So in this picture, the direction of the force is towards your left, as the arrow show, as you try to push this box towards the left hand side. And it will also always have a point of application of force. In this case, it is here. In be, uh, the contact point between your hand and the box. Let's look at this example. What is the magnitude of the force? As Jeku Dio mentioned earlier, magnitude has number. So what is the magnitude of this force? 
it is 15 newton. How about the direction? Where do you pull the hammer? It is shown by this red arrow. That is the direction of the force. How about point of application? It is right here. Where the hammer and the wooden block meet. That is the point of application of force. Next, let us look at the unit of force. The unit of force is Newton. I need you to pay close attention here. What is the way, the right way, the correct way to write Newton? When you write the whole word Newton, you spell out the word Newton, okay? You need to use small letter N. But if you use the letter N only, then it has to be capital letter. And please take note that 1 kilogram equals to 10 Newton. That means if your body mass, okay, if your body mass is 50 kilogram, then your body weight is 500 Newton. So remember, body weight does not equal to body mass. Alright, that is the right way. If you write Newton with N capital letter, or the letter and small letter or if you think that 1 kg equal to 1 newton it is wrong okay please pay attention to this next what does newton's third law say remember jacudio mentioned about newton's third law when we talk about normal force newton's third law actually say this it states that for every action force, there is always a reaction force of the same magnitude but opposite direction. Do you remember the magnitude? Magnitude has number. Okay, so it is the same magnitude, the same number, but the direction is always the other way. Let's look at a few situations. First situation. If there is an object that remains on a table that does not move, what is the action force? The action force is the weight of this object, in this case a book. Okay, that is the action force, the weight. Weight actually is gravitational force acting on the object, remember? How about the reaction force? This is where it will help you understand better. The reaction force is normal force. Okay, how about situation 2, an object that floats on water. What is the action force? The action force again is the weight. And what is the reaction force? What is another force that this, uh, this block right here that is floating on water experience? Remember, if something is floating on a liquid, it has buoyant force. That is the reaction force. How about this situation? When these two trolley, first and second, there is some spring in between them, okay? And I compress both of them together. And then I let go. What happened? The trolley will move in opposite direction, okay? So the action force here is the elastic force of the spring. And how about reaction force? It is also the elastic force, but in opposite direction. That's all from Jekutio in this video. I shall see you in the next video when we talk about the different effects of forces. Please leave in the comment section one thing that you have learned. I shall see you soon. Bye! If you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.